one of my goals for my next canoe trip is to be able to come back without any personal injuries. I got one, two, about four sores in my lower extremities from uh, one from rowing in a bad position. I got one from burning myself with the jet boil, bad burn, and then uh, two that I already had with me before I left that just got worse because I was constantly wet on the boat. So for the next trial run, whenever I put the boat in again, that'll be one of my goals is to come back not being so beat up and then maybe not feeling as tired too because I've just been exhausted for it's three days now I'm up in McLeod three days since I got the boat out of the water I'm up in McLeod just below Mount Shasta camping in the National Forest I'm gonna head up to home today in Oregon and stop along the way and hopefully do some salmon fishing on the Klamath River. But I gotta go clean the van and work on the oarlocks and the sail and a few other things for the boat. How do you like the close-ups of my face? Pothole. And I had a good one the other day, bottomed out, everything came flying forward. Anyways, those are the goals for the next trip. To come back a little bit more rested, or not so exhausted. I won't feel rested, but at least not be exhausted. And not have any personal injuries. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I catch a salmon today. Huh? Didn't catch a salmon. Finally found a good fishing hole that I can get to on the Klamath. Just kind of hitting the water right there above the, where it's still above the flow here. I don't know what you call it, the glassier water up there. And then I would bounce it down the rapids all the way down to about there and pull it back in and it's a good drift. I did see one fish right off the rocks right there. It's real early in the year. It's only September 18th. So the salmon are just showing up. But I've never caught a salmon before. So maybe I'm still not doing it right. But one of these days I'll catch a salmon and then I'll know what I'm doing. Hopefully. This cow over here wants his spot back. So he's got... Nora to contend with and she doesn't like cows. She likes rocks and sticks. So we're gonna give him a spot back. And I got to soak my feet in the water. That's about it. I'm gonna go home to Oregon tonight. About 20 minutes of that away. And I'll be at home. Be nice. Look at that fly in her neck. Drown that fly, Nora, drown that fly. Two themes so far on this trip. Bottoming out in the van and fish jumping just as I'm getting ready to leave. Another one right off the rock, a couple feet out of the water, at least 20 pounds. Nora, go get the big stick. Hey, get the big stick. Yeah, bring it here. Come on. All right, here it goes. How do I throw the big stick? Like a spear. That's ah. a big stick.
scare you, man. Sorry. Remember when Obama thought cattle guards were real employees? Oh shit, the wheel's not working. Ah, foot stuck. Last night's campsite on the Deschutes River. What? You got a rock? It's too cold to go swimming. Oops, looks like she's gonna go swimming. I fished from that stump right there. Caught a giant brown trout out there last night. Got him all the way to the shore and couldn't pull him up the bank. He got off while I was pulling him up the bank. But it was probably good because he was too much fish for me to eat. Me and Nora combined might not have been able to eat this fish. It was a monster. A ton of fun to catch. So yeah, this is the Tethro log jam up there. Me and my brother spent three days floating this river early this summer. Maybe I'll post some pictures into the video to show you what that trip was like. I didn't catch any fish last time. Last time I lost my fishing pole, it got snagged and went overboard and I never saw it again. But yeah, we camped along the shores just like this. Um, river was a little higher, but it's a beautiful river, always crystal clear. That's as many rapids as you, that's the only rapid we saw the whole way. And we went around it. My brother carted all my gear up over that hill. I had to climb up a bank about three times higher than this one here on my back with a rope. But we made it around the log jam. And then, yeah, it was 45 miles of river just as flat as this. Quick, swift, and flat. Little eddies and turns here and there. And hit the road. Got to get up to Montana because it's going to get cold next week. So I want to put the boat on the water this week. It is last night's camping spot. Not nearly as nice as the night before. It was loud, there were cars. It's a little hot this morning. No fishing out the front door. The Columbia River is down there, you can see it. We're in the Columbia River Gorge now. Gonna be in Washington today, headed over to Montana. At least I don't have to make my own coffee. I can go get it from McDonald's. But I'm feeling dirty. I haven't had a shower in a while. I forgot. It's not fun waking up when you haven't had a shower in a while. It's alright during the middle of the day. But when you gotta climb into bed at night or wake up and put clothes on in the morning. Finally made it to Idaho again. I've already been here, but I'm back. Uh, second time this road trip. Anyways, I'm off to get into the National Forest, find a good spot to sleep. I just bought some waterproof socks, so I'm excited about that. However, I didn't go to the grocery store, so I'm still eating dried food, canned food, gross. Um, yeah, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to get the last of what I need and put in on the Lake McDonald in Montana. 
So anyways, it's a little bit late. I don't like being out here trying to find a campsite after the sun's gone down, but I'm putting in a lot of hours to get up here to Montana, so that's the way it goes. And we're off. We launched over there. It's uh, Friday afternoon, the very end of September in Lake McDonald, Montana. There's people hanging out together, playing together, and me and the dog are all by ourselves out in the middle of the lake, headed over to camp somewhere on that end. We'll see how far I make it tonight, today. It's taken all day to get the boat in the water and get it all geared up. It's a big process moving everything from the van and some folks helped me put the boat in the water and then somebody else put the wheelchair back in the car, locked it up. I really got to pee. I forgot to bring anything to pee in. So I guess I drained the last of my water, I don't know. Anyways, not the last of my water, I got a water maker but got to have something to pee in too. Nora is missing her rocks and sticks back at shore. I did some work to the oar locks. They're more stable. I still got to figure out a better system for getting them on and off. Because so I have to take them off every night to sleep. And put them on every morning to go. And I didn't quite get... These two are holding there just like they always have. This one's completely gone. It got thrown away because I just couldn't fix it. The slick, the hole in it kept getting bigger. This one's barely doing anything but at least I got a side of the boat I can get back in on. And yeah. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Good, how y'all Ski boat wakes. Not so much fun for the guy in the canoe. I'm trying to fashion my oar. Failed with the masking tape, stupid idea. But anyways, I'm trying to fashion. So you got the boom ready to go up, and then it's gonna tie up right here. Give myself some type of tent, because when I slept in Tahoe with the tarp, it was just soaking wet underneath the tarp. So I'm trying to get the tarp off of me so it's got a little slope off to the side of the boat. Anyways. Fishing pole somewhere, not catching any fish. And there's the mountains. Gotta set up camp so I can make dinner. There's a full moon right there. Right on the, well, all right, come on. Right, you see it, right? Right there. Yeah, full moon rays. I got my tarp fashioned. It's all right got quite a bit of a gap. At least I still get to see the mountains. I'm trying to put on some dry clothes right now. And then I'm gonna get, I think, tucked all the way into for bed and then cook dinner. I don't know. Makes more sense. I'd rather just fall asleep after I eat. I'm tired. Yep. You guys can't really see that, but Pretty sweet.